Hi there. Um, I'm Deb from Do Your Dash. Welcome along to my channel. If you've not been here before, um, please do check out some of my other videos. I'm trying to grow my channel slowly. Um, and uh, do check on the um, like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Um, hopefully I'll see you again. Uh, today I'm sharing um, a little video about using amazing casting resin in Iron Orchid Designs stamps not the moulds, the stamps, and using it to create mouldings. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy this little tip um, and have a go, see how you get on, and please do tag me or write any comments you've got and I'll get back to you on that. Um, so I'm using, today I'm using the typesetting stamp, amazing casting resin, um, and eventually they get painted using the French Chic, French Shimmers. So, um, all of those are available on my website, which is doodledash.co.uk. Um, but yeah, check it out and hopefully you'll be able to get creative um, and give it a go. All right, take care. <laughs> Hi there, so today um, I'm working on a project where I need some letters um, cast in resin. Now, normally I would be using either my Harper or Victoria moulds from IOD, um, but I actually need them a little bit bigger this time. So, did you know that you could actually use your stamps to cast into as well? Um, now, these letters have got quite a good profile on them. So I'm actually going to pour the resin into the stamp and let that cast. It won't harm harm it at all. Um, you don't need, like with clay, where you would put cornstarch or corn flour in to help with the release. You don't need that with, um, with the casting resin. So I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to pour it in and let it set as normal and away we go. So I don't need very much for this, but I'm going to pour... Um, probably 10 ml of each and you need a 50-50 mix with this amazing casting resin so I'm going to do 10 ml of that part and 10 ml of this um, and then I'm, I've actually got these these are brilliant, these silicon pouring jugs um, just got that off of Amazon but they give you a really nice um, sort of lip to pour with. So I pour both parts into there. And then give it a good stir. And I usually stir for about 15 seconds. And you'll see it starts off cloudy. And then as you're stirring, it goes clear. Um, and that's what you need before you actually pour it in. Okay, so I'm just going to pour, make sure they're up the right way. Pour this into here. This one. Excuse the TV on in the background. Um, and then I've got some left over and we don't like to waste any. So I'm going to just pour it into this mould, what's left. Because you can always keep these letters um, for future projects. And you've probably seen in one of my previous um, videos regarding using these letter moulds. I'm never too precise. I will just pour it on and then you can just use the raised edge there to squish squish it all out and spread it and then when that sets it will easily come out and then all of this extra resin around the end you just peel away okay so we're going to let those set and then we'll come back and see how we get on okay so these have um now completely set so I'm going to try and remove them from 
from the stamp. Uh, this is actually the first time I've tried this, so <laughs> hoping it's going to work. Um, right, here we go. Okay, so it's going to need a little bit of trimming up, and I can probably use um, just a fine sand, um, fine grit sandpaper on this just to even out the edges. But yeah, that's pretty much what I was hoping for. Try and get these out. This one actually overflows. You probably spotted that when I was pouring it in, but I've cut the excess away already. Um, all right. Can you see the stamps are absolutely fine. It's not damaged them at all. So uh, that's great. So there you are. That's the two letters that I wanted. So these are now going to be trimmed and um, unsanded. And then I'm going to paint them, um, which I can do with my chalk paints or metallic paints, whatever, you, you know, you can use whatever you like. And they will go on to my project just as I hoped. And the spare uh, spare resin that I used, or had left, I used to put in here, has created a few extra letters that I can just add to my pot. Um, let me just show you. Every time I just keep a whole batch of spare, oh, just drop one, um, of spare molds that I've made just for future projects to speed things up if I'm doing anything and this is my envelope with all my letters in. So there you go. How to use resin in the letter stamps. Hopefully you'll find that useful and um, I'd love to see any projects that you've done. If you want to share those in my Facebook group, uh, Doodle Dash Creatives, or um, you can tag me on Instagram, which is Doodle Dash Home or Doodle Dash Creative. I've got two accounts. Greedy like that. Okay, there we go. See you soon.